I'm Zero FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu FT850. What you're seeing here is called VOR. So it's a system for navigation for pilots and I'm picking up the information that comes on this frequency. I've got a feeling it's coming from Cardiff, but it could be Bristol Airport. And there's alterations that you can make when you're in VOR mode. On this particular de device, you can go function and you can select number one and then you can change the 352 there. So pilots, they use this information and it's similar to what they're seeing on the plane. There is also what they call the ILS. Now I've got that on another frequency. So this is VOR. The ILS is called, let's have a look, I've got frequency 110150 here. So if I come out of that, press, um, I think we have to go menu, then back to com. Move away. If I don't move away from the frequency, it auto. The thing, the clever thing about this, this um, 850 is it will automatically show that information when it receives it. So the frequency, which is the sort of navigation frequencies, are are 108.10 to one, possibly 11.95 megahertz. Now, please check this. And then the higher you go, you have these sort of comms frequencies where people are talking to each other up to around 137 megahertz. So if I put in the ILS frequency that I found that was active, 110150, that should, yeah, that comes through. Now this is a fix, this is almost the, uh, the signal, the data signal that's coming from a, a, a literally in a landing field, probably Cardiff. And there could be, there may be more information if I had a stronger signal. But these are the kind of things that um, pilots are using. And they, they do tend to have a, a radio like this in their bag they'll carry with them. And of course, you know, you you can scan, you've got dual watch. If you go back, com. See, when it's receiving that signal, you have to select menu again. And this is the menu that we've got. Ashacom, you've got a list there. You select dual, dual display. We've got memories that you would add. I've only added a few. Weather frequencies. Compass. So if I, if I was in an aeroplane, this would all come in. Obviously, we could have we wouldn't need the weather frequencies. We could just be looking at the uh, the air aircraft and airport frequencies. Navigation again. Now this seems it looks like it has to be preset. It will keep history if you're logging history. We've not logged any history. And a stopwatch, which pilots do use. Yeah, pilots use that when when calculating um, their you know their their basically approach to airports and more. Big setup menu as well. Memory book, GPS. Now we haven't got a GPS lock, but if you do get one, that will all come through. See if we can get ourselves back onto normal frequencies. There you go. And we go menu, enter GPS. Location info there. And if we had a lock, we'd have the usual GPS, which you can download any app and get this information. Bluetooth, which works great. And you just go enter and then go to new and you, it starts to search. Config menu there. This is like, your, you know, your brightness, your dimmer, your beeps, you know, it's all the radio settings. I've already locked the PTT because I don't want a PTT. And then the firmware. Now, as far as I can, there's no SD card in this. I can't see that you can update the firmware on this. March 2023. I have looked around. Maybe you can, but I, I haven't found it. That anything showing that being able to update. Otherwise, you can just type in frequencies. You can do dual receive as you saw that earlier. And... Um, back key save save frequencies that you like hold down save put in the information you want and then just hit save and it saves it and you can save it to a group as well and it looks like there's nine groups that you can save 
You've got a small function menu there. There's your off. Now to scan, it's nice and easy. You just go function two, and it starts to scan. So that's it, all interesting, enjoying just tinkering with these new gadgets. You've got a USB connector there. It does come with a headset adapter connector there. DC input, charging cradle. It comes with the cigarette lighter adapter and mains adapter that plugs into the back there. And for pilots, PTT, on off. And then squelch, just push the bottom button there, squelch adjust your squelch push it again volume and then channel change or type in the channel so thanks for watching my channel nice loudspeaker on these catch you on air seven three all the best bye for now